what is up guys today i'm gonna be talking about the mind transfer jutsu in shinobi striker and yeah before i get into it i want to give a huge shout out to lil inovert the one that gave me this idea made a video about it a few weeks ago and yeah please go subscribe to him it means a lot the link will be down in the description below i might even have a pinned comment with his channel link too so yeah please go subscribe to him and be cool makes a lot of good shinobi striker content too so yeah his link will be down in the description below and i'll also have a pinned comment as well so now let's get into today's topic the mind transfer jutsu being in shinobi striker so the mind transfer jutsu actually has a lot of variety on how you can use it Literally, the Mind Transfer Jutsu, you know, does this version against Sakura in the tuning exams. Then there's the Mind Destruction Jutsu, and then there's the Mind Connection Jutsu, which she does during the war. You know, can do all of these. So these three Jutsus are all similar in their own ways. So let's talk about how the Mind Connection Jutsu, I'm not really sure that that's what it's 100% called, but you guys know what I'm talking about. She does it during the war, how she connects the five great nations. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not... 100% sure on what it's called, I'm just calling it Mind Connection Jutsu, correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, let's talk about how that would work in Shinobi Striker. Now, in my opinion, this one would be completely useless, because you can just be in your party, Xbox Live party, you can just be like that, and that Jutsu is basically pointless, because you can just talk in your party. So let's get on to the Mind Destruction Jutsu. This Jutsu is actually kind of broken if you saw Inoichi do it in the anime. Now, basically, he can do it to multiple people as well. Now, basically, when this connects, it makes their mind go insane, obviously, and they can actually start attacking their teammates. Now, in my opinion, this is incredibly broken, because if this lands on multiple people, you're just going to get the entire team killing each other, and that's pretty broken. So I would probably limit it to only being able to land on one person if you're even going to put this jutsu in the game, because if you can land it on multiple people, this is incredibly broken. This jutsu is especially broken because they don't lose control of their body. They literally just do the jutsu and it lands on someone. They don't lose control of their body and they just watch their enemies kill each other. So this jutsu is incredibly broken. There's no backfire like the normal mind transfer jutsu where if you do it, you lose control of your body for several minutes. No, this jutsu, you do not lose control of your body. And yeah, let's get into the most basic one, the mind transfer jutsu which she does to Sakura during the tuning exams. So this jutsu can actually be pretty broken as well if you think about it. Just speaking in a video game, it's not really like too broken in the anime. So in a catch the flag scenario, if your whole team has this jutsu, all you have to do is get every single one of your teammates and land this jutsu on the other team. And boom, there you go. You have control of the entire team. Of course, your team is knocked out, laying there for I don't know how long. Um, depends on how they how long they want you using this jutsu for, but you're controlling the other players on the team. Pretty broken, because, I mean, they don't have control of their team, you do. Obviously, your team is knocked out, but that doesn't matter, because their team is playing in your position, and it's just a GG from there. So if your entire team has this jutsu, it's pretty broken, uh, depending on how long they let you use this, and think about it, like, Think about like you're about to capture a flag and bang someone does this jutsu on you and they're controlling your character. This would be the most annoying jutsu in the game, not gonna lie, uh, but I also want this jutsu in the game because I think it's pretty cool. So yeah, those are the three ways that I could see this jutsu being put in the game. I think the mind transfer jutsu and the mind destruction jutsu can be pretty broken depending on how much time they give you to use it. Also, Eno doesn't necessarily have to be a playable character for this jutsu to be in the game. Because they had the seven heavenly breaths and that's a filler i doubt they're going to use a filler character as one of the character slots so Eno doesn't necessarily have to be a playable character in order for this jutsu to be in the game so keep that in mind they also have shown a screenshot of her in the hub world in her boruto form so this jutsu does have a chance to be in the game so that is it for the video guys let me know what you guys think don't forget to subscribe and go subscribe to lil inovert too and i'll see you guys next time